Class has been in session since August at the new Charlotte Engineering Early College. It's located on the campus of UNC Charlotte and it's the first of its kind for Charlotte Mecklenburg schools. The inaugural class of 100 ninth graders delves into a curriculum focused on STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, with an emphasis on energy and engineering. I think the decision for this school to be a STEM school and more specifically engineering with a focus on energy was driven a lot from the corporate uh, sector in Charlotte and certainly the engineering and energy profession. Charlotte is a leading energy hub in the country with a, if you will, graying workforce. As engineers retire and move on to other things, we're going to need to be able to, to have a pipeline of young folks that really want to get involved in the engineering field. So just being able to expose them and connect them with the university campus and use the resources that are currently already here on campus is a win-win for both sides. Students at Charlotte Engineering Early College will spend three years on high school courses followed by two more years of college coursework at no charge to their families. These students will be uh, approaching their high school curriculum at an accelerated pace uh, because most of their high school classes they're going to take in the first two years. And then beginning in their junior year of high school, they will begin taking more UNC Charlotte classes. They're seeing what the schedule is going to be like for the next five years. It's a five-year high school and in their fourth and fifth year, they'll be taking a lot of college credit courses. The same courses our engineering students are taking here on campus. In fact, they'll be in the same classroom with them. And believe me, those are not trivial courses. Those are hard courses. So as ninth graders, they probably don't realize that yet. They're still getting adjusted to being on a college campus. But in a year or so, they're gonna see what it really means to be a college student and be a high school student at the same time. High on the list of goals for program leaders is the enrollment of girls and minority and first generation college students. One thing we're most excited about this first group is we have 42% of our population is females. And so I think the university was very hopeful that we could begin to recruit females into the engineering field because typically they don't, they don't go in this direction. It's going to help us to attract a more diverse clientele in the future to our College of Engineering. Being able to bring in students who may not think they could even access or afford a higher education is also a benefit for us. Program leaders have also ensured that the students have a strong support system in place in the first year of classes and as the school continues to grow. We currently have 10 staff members. Uh, we have six teachers. We have a career development coordinator, a counselor, and then my secretary and myself are, are leading the school. And then each year for five years, we will add um, 100 kids. And at that point, we'll probably have a staff of around 20 to 30. Uh, so it is a smaller, uh, more intimate setting. And that's where we hope we can really challenge our students because we're going to know who they are. We're going to really be able to connect with them and hold them accountable, but also provide a level of support for them as a, as a travel through a very difficult curriculum. For the first three years, class time will be spent here in the early college building. The students are encouraged to attend events on campus to acquaint them with university culture. Recently, they attended a presentation given by two Nobel laureate scientists. The two uh, people that were there were uh, Dr. Peter Agree and um, Dr. Martin Chalfie. They uh, took on various uh, roles in science and they discovered things that no one had ever done previously, which is what makes uh, the Nobel Prize so significant. They really gave us an inside scoop of what they really love to do, like how they started just like us and how we're like just like them. They basically explained us that anyone can be what they want to be as long as we try and keep going. It was cool to see the Nobel Prize winners. Um, they told us a lot about um, how they did it and if you want to earn something in life, you got to actually try your hardest. Students of the Charlotte Engineering Early College will also have an opportunity to get hands-on experience through internships. It's going to be a requirement that all students have an internship experience. And that's one of the jobs I have now with the school is to start talking to businesses and lining up those internship opportunities so that when they, are, when they become 11th graders, we'll have the opportunities lined up for them and ready. The school will, first of all, just recommend you for the internship, and you'll be able to get in a uh, field experience as to what you would need to do in whatever job you're trying to um, you're trying to go for. I'll be studying and then working at the same time, which what 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 would be better than that to study and then work to have a better future? 
Potential employers say they're eager to see a stream of graduates who have strong engineering skills and who can move easily into college programs. As a workforce uh, uh, producer, the creation of the Charlotte Engineering Early College right there on campus will only serve to expand the pipeline and really solidify UNC Charlotte as a pipeline for engineers in, in, in this industry. We have to have a steady stream of really qualified, energized, and well-prepared students coming into our engineering program and our energy concentration so that they can fill those jobs. And those are, those are great jobs, and they're not easy to fill. Even today, even with relatively high unemployment, our employers here in Charlotte still have a hard time finding people to fill those jobs. After the recent ribbon-cutting celebration, the members of the North Carolina State Board of Education who toured the school said they were impressed by the way all the pieces are coming together. It's all about engineering and energy, and this is a perfect location for it. In the city of Charlotte, on the campus here at the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. Program leaders envision the school as a blueprint for the future of STEM education in the region, state, and perhaps even the nation. For the next 10 years, we know that 400 students uh, every year are going to be in this facility and are going to be learning at a university level. Uh, and so I just think the concept is a fantastic one, yeah. We know that to properly educate the young people of our state, we've got to break out of the traditional mold and offer all sorts of alternatives to excite young people about their future. And it's got to start with schools like this one.